Though she'll always be known for the macabre character she played as a child, there was a lot more to Lisa Loring than the two seasons she spent as the original Wednesday on The Addams Family. Loring died on January 28, 2023, at 64 years old. Loring's daughter, Vanessa Fomberg, confirmed to Variety that her mother died of a stroke caused by high blood pressure. Fomberg said she went peacefully with both her daughters holding her hands. Loring had reportedly been on life support for three days at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, California, before her family decided to remove it, according to The Guardian. Friend Lori Jacobson wrote of Loring on Facebook, she is embedded in the tapestry that is pop culture and in our hearts always as Wednesday Adams. Loring was only six years old when she took on the role of the death-obsessed Wednesday Adams in 1964. The series, based on the New Yorker cartoons of Charles Adams, only lasted two seasons, but her deadpan portrayal of the pale, pigtailed child became the blueprint for every Adams Family adaptation thereafter. I like being miserable. You might find a nice girl to be miserable with. <laughs> Jenna Ortega, the actress who plays the lead role in the Netflix comedy horror series Wednesday, said on The Tonight Show that her version of the character is certainly inspired by Laurie. Well, I paid homage to Lisa Loring the first Wednesday Adams. I did a little bit of her shuffle that she does. And Lisa Loring was born Lisa Ann DeCensis on February 16, 1958, in the Marshall Islands. Her parents divorced shortly after her birth. She moved with her mother to Hawaii and eventually Los Angeles, where she began her career in show business. According to The Guardian, her mother initially began putting her up for modeling gigs at the age of three. Soon after, Loring began going after acting roles and landed her first job in a 1964 episode of Dr. Kildare, a medical drama series on NBC. That same year, she landed the role of Wednesday Addams. While many child actors run the risk of being typecast, especially after portraying such a recognizable character, Loring had no such trouble after the Addams Family came to an end. At least, at first. She took roles in The Phyllis Diller Show and then The Girl from Uncle in 1966. But then work dried up, and it would be another decade before her next role in the television movie Halloween with the New Addams Family, in which she once again played Wednesday. In the late 1970s, Loring made special appearances on Fantasy Island and Barnaby Jones. She later had a recurring role in the soap opera As the World Turns before appearing in a series of slasher films, including Blood Frenzy and Iced in the late 1980s. The path of Loring's life wasn't particularly easy. Her mother Judith died from chronic alcoholism at the age of 34, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Loring first got married at 15, and the couple had a daughter before divorcing a year later. Loring married three more times before her 2023 death. The marriage that became tabloid fodder was the one to adult film actor Jerry Butler, whom Loring met when she was working as a makeup artist in the set of the adult film Tracy's Big Trick, according to The Sun. According to People, Loring tried to leave behind the entertainment industry after a friend's death and her own substance abuse, but she also said she felt a calling to come back to the business in a different way. She told People, I'm trying, but I'm afraid of the rejection. Loring added that she wasn't willing to take just any role. I will not do any schlock but I'd love to do a Quentin Tarantino film. That Tarantino role never came before Loring died. Butch Patrick, who played Eddie Munster on The Munsters, which ran concurrently with The Addams Family, paid tribute to Loring, writing on Facebook, Very sorry to hear of my dear friend Lisa Loring's passing. We were very close and worked together often. I know she was very weak. I was in her company just a few weeks ago. Godspeed, my friend. 